How's it going, you guys? Welcome to Tea Time True Crime with Katie. Happy Halloween. Tonight is a very sad true crime that actually happened on Halloween. This one is tough, you guys. Viewer discretion advised. On October 31st, 1981, a man broke into the St. Francis Convent in Amarillo, Texas. He would then rape, strangle, and stab Sister Tadia Benz, 76 years old, by the way, to death. Her body would be discovered that morning by another sister when Sister Benz didn't attend 6.30 a.m. Mass. A clairvoyant who actually went by bubbles told the police and called the papers that she had a vision who killed the nun. She said it was a teenage boy who wore an Afro-type wig. On November 9th, Police Sergeant Walter Yerger said Johnny Frank Garrett, 17 years old, was their suspect because he had found fingerprints outside the convent. Now, police pulled him in for questioning without his parents present. They claimed that he confessed. Then the police typed a confession, but Johnny refused to sign. This guy came from heartbreaking tragedy. At a young age, he was sold by his stepfather. While he was SA'd, he was sold to other men to be SA'd. He was also put into pornography films when he was only 14. The DNA of the horrible slain nun was actually from a Hispanic DNA. But what doesn't make sense is that Johnny is Caucasian. People believe because of the severe abuse that Johnny had and his mental handicap that he was just a scapegoat. Johnny would end up being executed by lethal injection February 11th, 1994. In 1994, the pathologist who had completed the autopsy of Sister Tadita Benz was charged with corruption. He had falsified hundreds of reports and conducted countless botched autopsies. He would plead no contest to six felonies. In 2005, we got the real killer. The black hairs found on the scene for the murder of the nun was by this guy. He was also charged with Narnie Cox Bryson's murder as well, who was also an elderly person. Please exonerate him. Clear his name, even though he's passed on. Happy Halloween.